I'm Emily and welcome once again to my channel. And today, guys, we are back. We are finally back to this. I have been missing this show so much. I cannot explain. And I know a lot of people are going to hear and going to say, really, this show? And I don't know what it is because there's so many things about this show that just are, well, how, how can I put it? Well, they're curious, <laughs> let me say it like that. They're not great. There are so many aspects of this show that just simply wrong. But I don't know what it is. I just I just want to continue watching it. I fucking love these two idiots. I think probably a lot of it is that. Uh, Shen Wei and Xiao Shun Lan, they have my whole heart. I just love them. And yes, obviously I love all of the couples of the other shows that I've seen. I love Wei Wen Shan and Lang Wen Ji, Wen Keshin and So Su Shu, uh, Xie Lian and Hua Cheng. All of them. All of them. All of the shows that I watch, I have loved the couples. But I don't know what it is about these two. I just love them. And there are a lot of aspects of the show that I'm, eh. Like, if you ask me what the story is about, I'm still not sure. <laughs> if you ask, I, like, what is happening? All the time in this, it's like, what is happening? What is this story about? I have no idea. I just love watching it. I feel like, obviously, there is a general story. Like there are smaller plots and there are other plots. And a lot of them, I don't understand them. But I feel like this is more of a conduit for me to see Shen Wei and Shao Shunlan interact. That's all I want from this show. Like, that's I think that's why they could put anything on the screen as long as they are together doing something. It's like, I'm going to be happy. And I love the whole team, too. I feel like the the whole dynam dynamic and everything, but those two, I oh no no words no words to describe them. So I'm so happy to be here continuing this. And let me tell you something: this was so close to not happening. The reactions for these were almost, you know, <laughs> something that was not going to be realized. Let me tell you a little story. Hopefully, it's going to be little. Maybe it's going to be <laughs> so little. Who knows with me? Anyway, um, before I was going to do the reaction, I decided that I was going to watch the last few episodes before I stopped because I didn't remember a lot of things about the specific story where I stopped. Obviously, I remember the big details, but I didn't remember a lot of the, you know, a specific plot line that uh, I was when I was uh, when I stopped watching. So I decided to, you know, I was going to rewatch those episodes. Obviously, I was not going to watch one of my reactions, like, no offense to me, but I fucking hate the sound of my voice. I, I Honestly, guys, I don't know how you tolerate it. I know that I think that's for everyone, like, everybody hates the sound of their own voice. So I was not going to go through that. <laughs> like, so, like, no, no chance. So I went to YouTube and assuming that I was going to find them there. And lo and behold, I found nothing whenever, whatever, you know, the place where my Guardian episodes had been, not mine episodes, you know, the episodes from the channel that I used to watch them, they're gone. They're not there. They disappeared. And this is not the only show that I noticed that. Obviously, I, I actually should have checked Word of Honor and The Untame. I don't know if they have disappeared. Um, but uh, the other show that I'm reacting to is called Advanced Bravely. And let me tell you, that is show is absolute bananas. I fucking love it. If you can check it out, I will recommend it. It's, it's 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 something else. I don't. I have no words to describe it. Anyway, I went to check it on YouTube because I was so sure it was there, and it wasn't. It had disappeared as well. Um, obviously, I think for both of them, the English ver not the English, the Chinese versions are still there. The ones that disappear are the ones with subtitles in English. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. But uh, I couldn't watch them on YouTube. So that put a damper of things. So uh, I decided that I was going to go to Dramacool. And I know a lot of people are going to say, why are you going to Dramacool when you can go to Vicky? And to that I said, I can't go to Vicky because most of the content in Vicky apparently is restricted to my region. Argentina apparently is something that they don't want people watching their content. I don't know why. I don't know what's the explanation for that. They're just not available. So I couldn't go to Vicky. And believe me, I tried. Although I'm not crazy about Vicky uh, and their practices, but I still checked and not a chance. So I went to Dramacool. I put on the episode and 
I realized there was some problem with the subtitles. And again, people are going to say, oh, again, this girl with the subtitles. I know. I know I'm always complaining about subtitles, but in this one, I think I have reason to complain. Because this was not a problem of me being pedantic about the mistakes in the subtitles, the comments about the translators, the length of the lines, how quickly... No, no, those weren't the problems that I had this time. Because those problems, since at least since I've started to watch Chinese media, I feel like I learned to just accept them. Those are things that I just, you know, they're just there. I just continue watching. No, the problem these subtitles have were that they were so out of sync, like seconds out of sync. I I think, I know it doesn't sound a lot, but you have the subtitle appear and then a few seconds later, the, the person speaking. And it was so annoying. I, I I just couldn't stand it. I, I obviously watched the episodes like that because I had already watched them. I did, I just wanted to refresh my memory, but I don't I, I was considering continue watching the show because I couldn't watch them with the subtitles like that. I just it, it was very difficult. And it wasn't like that throughout the whole episode. Like at the beginning it wasn't so bad, and I think it gets worse towards the end. So I was considering, I said, well, maybe I'll record one, I'll watch 21, I'll record it, I'll see how I, how I feel, and then I'll decide, or I, maybe I'll ask people if they have, you know, if they know other places where you can have subtitles. Even if you can't upload just the subtitles in English, I can put them in the video, I can download the video in, in, in Chinese and put them, I have no problem with that. Alas... You know, I was really considering not to because those subtitles were so annoying. Anyway, uh, today I sat down. I was like, "Uh, should I record? Should I not? I really want to watch the show. I don't want to wait uh, for a while until I get better subtitles. I'm going to record it. I'm going to record 21. That's what I'm going to do. So I sat down and while I was open, you know, the software and all of that, I decided to give it one last chance. And obviously I find the places that I have already found, uh, I found uh, Billy Billy and other places that also had them in English. They were the same subtitles also that were out of sync. And then I found a site and I entered it. I didn't know it. It was, it is, you know, it's those those sites that have, you know, they're weird. You you don't know what they're about. But I tried. I'm, that's, that's how far I'm willing to go. I'm willing to enter into those sites to see um, if I could get a better copy Without having much hope, I tried the episode and it was synced, at least in the, in the like quickly, uh, you know, the quickly view that I did, not for 21, but I did it for 20. It seemed like it was in sync. So now I'm excited. I'm excited again. It seems like we'll be able to have actual normal viewing of uh, Guardian. I know the quality, maybe the quality is even worse. I don't know, but I don't care. I'm watching it from here. If you, I, I, I'm, I don't want to, to say the name on the page because I don't know if it's something that, you know, has virus. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about this page. So I don't know if I can recommend it. I'll tell you in a while. Let me watch the first episodes. If my computer keeps working in a few months, then I'll tell you the name of the page. Uh, but here is where I'm watching them. I consider it maybe download them just in case. Maybe I, I can. I have to see if I can download from that page. Anyway, that's the story of how I came to be here uh, watching Guardian with normal subtitles or as normal as you can get them. So let's go into the show. Before let's go, they go into the show. Let me tell you where we left off. I assume that you can just watch the previous reaction, but this is more for me than for you. So. Before we left off, we have purple hair guy whose name I refuse to remember. I don't care. I'm happy he's dead. Never like him. That guy, he was captured and then he escaped and then he sacrificed like his energy to feed this pillar that is in Dixon. And from that pillar came out a guy. And that guy is the actor who plays Shen Wei, but he's wearing opposite clothes. And she, this guy goes to, uh, he appears in, in like the, the world, the planet where these people are. Uh, well, it's actually the same planet. I think one is deep down and the other one is in the surface. Well, it appears in a park and Xiao Shulan is there and uh, he starts talking and this guy looks 
like he's wearing pretty much very similar clothes to Black Cloak Envoy, but instead of wearing black, he's wearing white. And he's not wearing a black mask, he's wearing a golden mask because he's fancy or something. I have to say, I quite like this guy. I, I know that he's probably the main villain because we are halfway through a show. I feel this is probably the, the big villain in the story. But I don't know. I, I, I'm I liking him better than Purple Hair Guy for a villain. And obviously I really like Shen Wei. So, and I really like the actor who plays Shen Wei. So I'm happy with seeing him doing other roles because I think he's very good at playing different things and, you know, doing a good job. So, you know, happy for him. Anyway... Uh, Shao Shunan is there. He's trying to, uh, you know, talk to the guy. The guy wants him to give him the hallows. Shao Shunan says, <laughs> no. And then they start fighting and Shao Shunan starts using one of the hallows, the one that he always uses. That, you know, the one that Shen Wei gets mad every time he uses because apparently it does things to him. I don't know if it's killing him or I don't know, but definitely, uh, it's not doing him any favors, but at least in that moment, he's helping him and they're fighting and then Shen Wei appears and, you know, he saves him, but then it turns out, and I don't know how the hell I managed to forget this, but Xiao Shun Lang kind of pass- is passed out and then he wakes up and then he's blind. How did I forget that? I forget that completely. I have, I just, I, I just forgot it. I forgot that little detail. I think for my own sake, because I, I think it would have made me want to watch, continue watching. Uh, so, you know, I'm happy I just remember. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much where we left off. Um, looking forward to continue watching. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was any other detail, but I think it's pretty much like at least in the plot, that's where we are at. So let's go to the episode. Let's go to episode uh, 21. And again, we are part, halfway through the show already. I can't believe it. So let's go uh, episode 21 right 